talking about Arts in Education Spring Celebration. I'm here with Mary Rouse. Mary, tell us a little bit about the Spring Celebration. Spring Celebration is an event that Jerry Brookhart, the former regional superintendent of schools, brought about 29 years ago to showcase some of the good things that were happening in the schools. The started with the three counties, Tazewell, Woodford, and of course Peoria County, to bring the kids down to the Courthouse Plaza, and we have performing groups, we have choirs, bands, orchestras, and then we have the applied arts. We have painting, we have ceramics, we have drawing, and then we'll even have some of the industrial arts brought down to the courthouse and the parents can come down and see it. There's no cost to the schools, there's no cost to the families to come down and there's no competition. It's nice to see at the end of the year what the kids have been working on. So how many students total do you think? Well now it's grown over the 29 years from just maybe about 10 or 15 schools to well over a hundred schools and it's grown from those three counties to eight counties. Uh, how many stages total? We use three stages. We use the stage that you see behind us here with the circle and the fountain stage and then we use the monument stage and then sometimes we use Maine and Jefferson as a third stage. So if uh, parents have students involved how do they how can they find the students? Well the schools do a real good job of letting the school the, the parents know through their own websites, but they can always go to the Spring Celebration website, which is springcelebration.org, or they can go to our Facebook page, which we'd really like if they would like our Facebook page. And I try to post pictures on a daily basis, and every morning I update that page to let them know what we're doing and what schools are going to be there. So it's Arts in Education Spring Celebration. We have a stage behind us where the kids were singing. We also have visual arts. You do. We have visual arts that we supply tables and panels for the teachers to bring the kids' artwork at all stages. So how do students benefit from this program? Oh, I think they benefit because for years and years this has been going on, and they talk about this. I have former students myself that ha are here as directors. I have students that I run into that are now parents, let my age be known there I guess, but they're, they're here watching their children perform. So generation after generation are here. And our sponsors have kept this going. They are the ones that keep this going year after year, generation after generation, because this is a family event. What about weather? Uh, this is an outdoor event. What it, happens? It is an outdoor event and this has been a trying year for us. Although we only had to go indoors twice and Northwoods Mall is a, our venue. We go and sometimes it's a little hard because some of the schools have to shorten their their um, event but the, the, sometimes they also have to cancel because we don't quite have as much room but we do thank Northwoods Mall for giving us that option. Do they have to worry about bringing chairs or anything nope, like that? No, we bring chairs. We we do some of our money goes towards the rental of the chairs and the uh, we will bring the chairs out to the mall if we have to, which we always do, and we have chairs set up for our audience as well as for our band members. Okay. Remind us again where we can find more information. Springcelebration.org or our Facebook page which is Arts and Education Spring Celebration. That is the Arts in Education Spring Celebration and another great thing that's happening in Peoria.